Okay, this is a little video showing you how to um, create your website and upload it with your FTP client to your hosting. Okay, so you have to have a domain name and I'm going to use my mom's um, web page that I'm designing for her as an example as I just started it. As you can see right here I have a folder on my desktop that says Maggie State. That was my mom's name. And it has everything in here about my mom. She just recently passed. Um, so I'm building her a website and I have that folder right here and everything, all the graphics and the website which has to be named index for the domain to show up is in here. Okay, So everything that's in here gets loaded to the hosting. A lot of people have a separate image folder. Um, sometimes I do that and sometimes I don't. Anyway, so here is the folder right here that I can find the website in. So I open Composer and I've created a header kind of making this more dramatic. Um, I had it in colors but I'm doing this in black and white. And then this is um, the beginning of this, this site. So let me actually show you how to build this. Let's go in here and create a new one. So here we have just Composer just opened up on your website and I want to insert a table and I want to just insert one table and um, this has a border around it and it's also over to the left so I want to get rid of the border and I also want to put it in the middle so I'm going to double click on it and my table properties comes up and I'm going to click on table and here it says table alignment I'm going to go ahead and center that click apply and where it says border here I'm going to backspace over that and click on my backspace button and get rid of those. I don't want any borders. Click apply and say OK. I'm going to put my cursor or my arrow inside of this table and I'm going to click enter. Alright so now I've created this inside of here is my website the outside is my border. Alright so now I want to make the outside of the border black so I'm going to go up here to format click it down here to page colors and backgrounds and here I'm going to choose custom color background and black now you'll see the entire page will turn black of course I want to have inside the website I want it to be white so that I can type in there in a normal fashion instead of typing in white so what I do is I go back up to well, actually I double click and my table properties comes back up and it says background color I'm going to click white this is going to turn the center white okay so now I have black sides now I'm going up to the image and I'm going to go into the website that I showed you let me show you this is in my mom's um, online package so desktop so let me take you through the whole thing Maggie State it's in mom's video and pictures it says website that's my folder and I'm going to choose header 2 because that's the black and white header and I'm going to save it except I, I'm not going to save this one because I already have the other one built but this is how I built this particular site okay so now let's go back to the other one now let um, now I want to show you how to upload it with the, your uh, FTP client so I've got it saved. All right, so let's move that and let's pull up the um, FTP client. Okay, so my hosting that I have everything in is my own company called Galaxy World Hosting. So I have opened up. Let me do this um, so you understand. I'm sure you are aware that you've got to go into public HTML. So you're going to hit this first. Okay and then that's going to bring you into what you've got on this side okay so let's go back up here and in here I've got um, all my domains so it's this is the one I want Maggie State so now down below here are all the files that are in there okay I've got the header that I just put in there okay so now over on this side are all the files that are on my desktop. So I'm in this desktop, um, Maggie State and Margie Keeler 
uh, mom's videos. Okay, so here's my website page index. Okay, so after you redo something in your page, you're going to come up here. <clears throat> a lot of people don't realize this. This refreshes everything, refreshes your client. So if you've saved a new page, you've got to refresh it so that this file is now refreshed as well. So I can upload the index page. It asks me, do you want to re redo it? And yes, I do, because I just changed something in it. Okay, so let's go back over here. That's what I built that header in. Let's go back to um, the website. Okay, let's put some text in there now. So let's click here. Let's let's say because um, I want to talk about you know my mom being a singer and artist, a gourmet chef. So um, let's just say Maggie started singing at age 12. She probably started soon and recording with her band the Melodiers at that time. Okay, so my mom was a jazz singer and she played with her her cousin uh, Don Lanfear, um, their first band, and actually Quincy Jones was in their first band. Okay, so let's say I wanted to say that. Okay, I'm going to save that. I just changed the website. I've got to come back to my FTP manager. I have to refresh it. That's the two arrows, one going this way, one going that way. Not this group, but this group. And I'm going to click on index again. Let me just show you what it looks like now. Okay, I'm going to re-upload the index page. It asked me do I want to. Yes. Coming back here and I'm going to refresh it and there's their text. That's how you edit this. If you don't want and you're not ready for your website to um, be viewed, what I do is I go into um, my builder. I go into a new one. I probably insert a, a table and just say, and I do all the things I showed you before, table, um, center alignment this and then okay inside enter 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 right here probably in the middle and I would put under utter <laughs> under construction and I'm gonna highlight that and make it real big bold and just that yeah you, know, you can put a background we'll just do that save it save it as index remember the main page is saved as index I'm not going to do that now because that's going to wipe out my other page but I would save it as index I would come over here and save it in the file also as index file and save as and I would save it as index there's two two ways to save it you want to save it as index here and then when you format it and you save title and properties this is where you would put your search engine uh, keywords if you were doing that type of marketing and it's probably a good idea to do that anyway so you could fill this in and put under construction or you know whatever you want to put in there so that you would upload that page and then people would know that your that domain is if they were searching for it or if stumbled upon it accidentally that you were not ready to um, show it. Okay, so um, this one, don't save, don't save. Let me see what I just did here. Uh, okay, so that's it, actually. So this is the website. Um, and really nobody's going to know that this even exists. They might stumble upon it. So I wouldn't worry about people finding your, your website. Um, okay, I hope this helped anybody that's having these issues and not knowing how to edit their website.